Hello. Yeah, today I'll be showing you how to import uh, data or student records from Microsoft Excel into the database. Now, without wasting much time, you quickly hop out of this. Now, from the database, you move to the settings. From settings, you click on Import and Excel. But before you do that, you should have your Microsoft Excel data ready. Now, this is the students that I have. I only have the student name and the telephone number. Now, to do the importation, you click on Import and ex Export Data. Now, when you click on Import from Excel, it actually looks for the file from a specific location. So, first of all, you need to have the file in a particular location that is the download folder for it to be able to import now you click on export data form and then it's going to give you a template of the form that it uses now this is how it, 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 it is this is the template it uses to import the data so it requires a student id same name first name other name the class is very important we don't the date of birth is optional the gender and the phone number these are the required fields that it needs to be able to import so you can you is best you click on the you click on the export data form to get the form like this so once you have the form like this then you can copy the data that you have in excel and paste into the database so i'll come here and i'll highlight my records my student record that I want to copy. I have 25 students that I want to copy. You copy, or you can hold Control plus C to copy. You copy the record, and then you come to the template that you have here. So you can click. You select this section of it, the co uh, the row, and hold Control plus V to paste. Now, when you paste it like this, there's a little work that we have to do. There are certain fields that we need to move them to their location. So I want to move the phone number field to the phone number field so that it will import that section. So you click and you move it, you drag and you release and it will be moved. Now by default the ID doesn't pick the alphabet and the number characters. So it means it has to be different. We need to have only numbers to be able to use as an id for the system to be able to import so we will give an id of an incremental id so we'll just add one to each so you can do it like this once you give the first cell one second cell two you click and highlight and you drag and pull downwards it's going to highlight the uh, entire data then it will give it an id now with the ID is required, we've gotten the ID. Same name is also a required field. First name. Now it looks like the we have the same name and the first name. And this we have by default my data has the same name and the first name put together. So it means you are going to push all of them in one field. And in the first name, we are just going to give it a, a sign so that it will be able to import because the without no data in the first name field it won't be able to import so i'm just giving it a hyphen then i will only duplicate the records let me widen up my my text field so that it will be neat then we click and drag down what to be able to what import and we have duplicated for all the students so we id is required same name is required now we've gotten a data into the first name field so we are left with the class the class is also an important so what name are we giving to what class are we putting them in maybe we want to put them in two classes so we can give this one maybe uh, basic one basic one so let's assume in our basic one is up to the 12th row so we click and drag to then we click here and you click copy cells so it's going to make all of them basic one you get that then maybe uh, the continuation of this will be basic two so basic two 
Let me click. Then we drag. Click. Then we drag. You click here. Then you copy the cells. Then when you come to the uh, the gender, the gender to uh, it's male or female. So you type in male. Let's assume in from what we have here, we are having male. Uh, then maybe female. So we click, we drag to copy, we click, we drag to copy. Maybe that's where our female is, female fill. Let me make this capital letter like this and then let's duplicate again. And then we have a male, so let's make it a male. Maybe I have for nice static feed, they start from the male. So male, and then we have female. We click and we drag. So I think we are done here. The guardian's first name, the guardian last name is not really important. We can leave that one. The date of birth and the other name is not really required. So now that we have this, we can now start importing our records. We are done now. So you come here, you click here, then you come to save us. Then we choose our location. So we browse, let's browse. Then we want to save in the download. For it to be able to import, it has to be saved in the download folder. In the download folder, you should have the name student. Student, S T U D N T S. Student, then the at symbol, then at J N. Student, the at symbol, and the J N. So once you have that, then you click on what? Save. Save. So it means we've now saved our record to the student field. So now, once you are done, we just quickly come to import now let's check in the download field if we have the folder if we have the the student so this is downloads downloads yeah this is it this is it was created today so that is it so we quickly move on and we click on what import from excel now by default these are the records that i have i have 24 students on my system when I come to the student list, when I come to the student list, this is what I have. 25, one person is inactive. So these are the list I have. I have, the class that I have is class 3, class 6, and form 3. So when we import, we should see changes here. So we come to student, you click on import, then you click on import from excel this one you double click and you see the action is successful wow so it means it has imported our record um let's quickly move on to the student records to see the changes the form has to refresh you see so you see by default we have a uh, total number of students is now 48 so it means what we did was successful Looking at it, looking at the Excel that we have here, we didn't close it. We had we, we're having basic one and basic two. So when we click here, we should see basic one and basic two. So now let's sort them out to see basic one, basic two. We click and you can see the classes basic one, basic two. We have the agenda and the phone numbers that we imported into the system. So I think our action was successful. Thank you for watching this video. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I will leave a link where you can download the software. These are my phone numbers. You can quickly get in touch with me if you have any challenges. If you have any, if you need any help, I'll be willing to help. Thank you. Thank you.